One of the great features of JCL Plus is the capability to scan an entire list of jobs in execution sequence. Uh, this comes in really handy, for example, let's say you wanted to scan an entire batch application in, in the order in which the jobs run, or maybe for a, a nightly schedule or maybe the end of year schedule in advance so that you could determine if you're going to have problems with that schedule and any one of those jobs at any point in time. And of course, this might include thousands of jobs, right? Or even many hundreds, whatever the number might be. The issue is more around the listing that would be generated by JCL Plus could certainly be very unwielding, a very long listing, and make it uh, rather difficult or complicated to go searching through that listing to find errors that uh, you want to look at more detail. So the JCL Plus provides this ability called uh, BR Jobs. And what happens here is that you scan that list of jobs in the order in which you run on the mainframe and produce the output to a data set. The data set is then downloaded to the server for access by the plugin. So here we have on the upper left hand screen, uh, we've opened up the data set that you downloaded to the server and you see the list of all the jobs that were in that execution scan. Uh, you'll also see the return codes associated with those jobs. And for any given job, if you click on it, you see the error messages that were produced by that scan for that job. So when you click on a particular error message, you'll see the screen on the right change to go right to that spot in the listing where that error is located. If you move over to the right and, and uh, you'll look further at the detail, you see that there are tabs on the far right that when you hover over them, give you more information, more detail about that particular error. And there are tabs all along the listing so that you can get that information detail as you need it. Back on the left-hand screen, you'll see that at the top there are icons on the right. Each of those icons enable further capabilities. For example, you can click on an icon to sort the jobs in order. The next icon allows you to hide warnings, for example. This next icon, when you click it, changes the view completely. It flips the view to be a listing of messages that were generated in the scan. And when you click on one of those messages, you see all of the jobs in which that message occurred. Then, of course, when you click on one of those jobs, you see the actual message. And when you click on that message, the screen on the right changes to show you where in the listing that error occurred. Another great facility of the plugin is on the right screen when you're in there in the listing. As I mentioned, this listing could be thousands of lines long, um, so it can make it unwieldy when you're trying to look for something. The plugin provides a search facility that you can search for a string. In this example, we're going to search for the string Y5300. When we hit enter, we find a one spot where it was located, and when we click on that, and it jumps right to the listing, that point in the listing where that particular string occurred. So in summary, the BR Jobs capability of the RDZ plugin enables you to scan many jobs easily so that you can navigate right to the spot that you need to to address any issues that occurred within that particular large run. It was very handy and helpful for when you want to address the uh, advanced scanning of a large set of application jobs or possibly even an entire schedule.